Hello everyone, I'm Dr. V. I'm a dentist. I graduated from dental school in 2018. Then I did a one year GPR program after that and I'm currently a first year student resident um, for orthodontic program, which means that once it's done, I'll be an orthodontist, which focuses on braces. So I decided to do dentistry with Dr. V because I constantly get asked questions from students of all ages, some in high school, college, dental school, just about what it takes to become a dentist, ways to be a competitive applicant, and things to consider like post-graduation. So I wanted to have a centralized location where I gave all that information to those that seek this knowledge, and I can just help others with um, stories and insights of things that I've experienced and things to keep in mind when approaching a road into the career of dentistry. So I'll go into a little bit about why I decided to do dentistry. So growing up I was always good in the math and sciences. I knew that I wanted to do something in like health career, medical field, something like that. Um, I liked working with my hands, so I thought, okay, I'll be a surgeon. I get to work with my hands, I have patience, I can make good money. Um, so that was really like, okay, this is what I want to do. So I have some family friends that are actually physicians, doctors, and we had a talk um, before I went off to college, and they were saying that if they could kind of rethink things or look at different career paths, they would look into dentistry. And one of the biggest contributing factors for that was the lifestyle. So being a physician sometimes, like, you know, in the residency program and depending on what specialty you enter into, you have to be on call or you have a certain lifestyle where you have to go into the hospital, you have to see a certain patient, things like that. With dentistry, usually depending on the specialty, um, you don't really have that. You work the nine to five and then you're done. So they were kind of advising me to look into that career path because, you know, I can have the nine to five and then have my family life. I would still have access to patients and having patient care and really making a big impact in someone's life. Um, and you can still make a good amount of money. So after that talk, I had the opportunity to work in a dental office or shadow in a dental office and that sealed the deal for me because yes, you do have the patient care, you are making a huge impact in someone's life, you can kind of formulate your own work hours and you know you can make six figures. So that is what kind of sealed the deal for me as far as why dentistry as a whole. And then I also had other experiences throughout my life that really just sealed the deal for me. Different exposure, different opportunities that really allowed me to just fall in love with this career field. And I'll go into that in another video. But that is why I chose to do dentistry. So some things to kind of keep in mind when looking at dentistry and what this field and this career path actually entails is the first thing that I wanted to discuss was patient care and being able to relate to your patients and being friendly and being approachable. So let's just be real for a second. People, a lot of people do not like going to the dentist. A lot of people have been traumatized as a child. A lot of people have heard horror stories about going to the dentist or their parents have had bad experiences and that has trickled down into them and now they've carried that fear throughout their lives. So you deal with a lot of anxious patients. There are a lot of patients that I see, or that I did see that were very fearful and you have to learn how to be a people person and you have to learn how to calm your patients and allow them to build trust in you. So that is something to definitely keep in mind when coming into this field. Not all patients are this way, but you do have a good amount of patients that are anxious and you have to um, be able to work with that and to calm them and build that patient rapport and have a good relationship with your patient so that you can kind of help them with that stereotype that comes with dentistry. Also, which is interesting about this field, and I didn't really know this going into it, but that it actually um, requires a good amount of creativity. So it can kind of go both ways. So you can be creative in what you're actually doing to so certain procedures. So let's say, for example, you have a patient that comes in and they have a lot of decay, their tooth is broken down. Um, if they don't have the means to get an implant or a crown or all these different things, you have to, if you can, you have to build up a tooth from nothing. You have to create something from nothing. You have a little amount of tooth left and you have to build a restoration that looks like a tooth and functions like a tooth. 
let's say you have a patient that comes in, they have a chipped tooth there, you have to be creative and be good with your hands, good dexterity skills, and you have to make that tooth look like the tooth next to it or look like how it should be looking. So you have to be creative and you have to be good working with your hands. You also have to be creative in that essence of with the treatment plan. So a patient comes to you with a problem and then you can present your ideal treatment plan, but there are situations where the patient may not like your treatment plan, they may not agree with it, they may not have the funds to afford it, and you have to be creative to think, okay, this is the problem. What are different ways that I can address my patient's chief complaint and also provide the best care? So you also have to be creative in the sense of what you're actually doing, like building up a tooth and being creative with um, your skills and then also being creative as far as um, your treatment plans and how you will address the problem at hand. Also, another thing that people like about this field of dentistry is money. I tell people I'm a dentist, they're like, oh, you're making money, you're going to make a lot of money, all this stuff. Um, so yes, you with this field and depending on what type of practitioner you are, you can make a good amount of money. Um, you can make six figures easily. Um, but with that in mind, and this is something that I want to um, bring to light, is the road to dentistry is expensive. Yes, you can make a lot of money in this field, um, but also know that people have a lot of student loans and the road to get into dental school and get out of dental school is pricey. You have to pay for, like exams that you have to take. You have to take exams to get into dental school. That's money. While you're in dental school, you have to pay, take um, board exams that cost hundreds of dollars um, to get out. Or once you're finished dental school or even during dental school, you can take a licensure exam, which is thousands of dollars. Um, and then if you want to specialize after your um, dental school experience, then you have to pay money for all those applications. So yes, this bill can grant a certain lifestyle, um, but it's important to keep in mind that it does cost money to get into this field. And that's something to be mindful of. So yes, this field costs money. Um, I didn't mean to scare anyone off of trying to pursue a career in dentistry, but I just wanted to make people aware. Um, but that's why I definitely push for excellence in whatever you do. You want to put yourself in the best position possible. So those high schoolers that may be looking at this video, um, make sure that you are striving to have a very high GPA. You want to be the top of your class in high school, college, and in dental school. You want to put yourself in the best position possible. So having those high GPAs will help. Um, having those leadership roles will be great. Being active on campus, being active in high school, being active in dental school, these will all help you set up for you to be competitive to have options. This will also help give you the opportunity to potentially get scholarships. So in high school, if you do well, if you're active and if you um, have leadership roles and you have a high GPA, you have a strong application, that will better your chances of getting into a good college. When you're in college and you are active on campus and you hold those leadership positions and you have community service and you have exposure, you've shadowed dentists, that helps set you up to have a competitive application for getting into dental school and getting a scholarship for dental school. So. Yes, this field is pricey and some things you cannot get scholarship or help with, um, but um, you can help yourself by being the best that you can be and striving for excellence in every part of your life. Another aspect of the expenses or money that is um, a part of the road to dentistry um, is that dental school is not cheap unless, I mean, there are some programs where you can have like state, um, tuition and things like that but a lot of people come out of school with student like a lot of student loans and student debt so you can't get help with federal loans to pay for you going through dental school but you will accumulate a certain amount of um, student loan debt that you have to pay back so this is just something to keep in mind so the road of dentistry can be expensive but you can do it try to get those scholarships and try to get that help so put yourself in the best position possible and you can there are also opportunities to be a part of like loan repayment programs and stuff but i'll get into that in another video but 
Yes, you can make a lot of money in dentistry, but just also be aware that it does take some money to get through and to apply to all these programs and to take these board exams and to take these licensure exams that does cost money. So I just wanted people to be aware of that. Okay, so I've talked about kind of why I wanted to do dentistry. What are some things to keep in mind regarding the field? Um, and so I also wanted to discuss like, what do you do? Like, so if you're like, okay, I, I'm interested. This sounds great. I want to be a dentist now. Like, what do I do? So to apply for dental school, you have to have a high school diploma. They don't require, but a lot of, some schools require. Um, and it's highly recommended that you graduate from a four-year college or university, accredited college or university. Um, there are some classes that are required and I got this information from the ADA website, that's the American Dental Association, because I forgot. So some of the required courses that you have to take in order to apply to dental school are, you have to take biology with lab, you have to take physics, you have to take English, you have to take general chemistry with lab and organic chemistry with lab. And all of those are eight hours. Like you have to take the um, eight hours for this. You don't have to be a science major. You can be a business major, art, anything else. Um, but you still have to take those classes in order to apply. Another thing that you should take note of is you have to take the DAT, which is the test you actually get into dental school. And I'll go over um, in another video some resources or some programs that are offered to help with like DAT prep. But that is um, an exam that is required before you apply to dental school that you have to do and perform well in. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do well on this score because that will just allow you to have more options about who will accept you, who will grant you an interview if you have a high score, along with all those other things that you have to offer for a program to be a competitive applicant. So DAT scores shy for them to be high. So the last thing that I wanted to leave you guys with is if I can do it, you can do it. Please do not let anyone's doubts, fears, their past experiences get in the way of what you want to do, your goals, and what you want to accomplish. I worked hard and I was not, I mean, I definitely had great, great, great grades in high school, but I didn't have all A's in college. I had a C in my report card. Um, so I, I had a good GPA. I didn't have the highest GPA, but I had a good GPA. So just know that if you're not getting okay straight A's, I don't want you to like discontinue this journey or to disqualify yourself saying, okay, I can't do this. I'll have a video later that I discuss, um, I guess like ways to have like a strong application, even if you have some weaknesses um, and some strengths, but how to have an overall strong application. That's what's important. They want someone who is who has a lot to offer. It's not all about grades, even though those are important. So strive for excellence, but please do not let your own doubts, someone else's doubts or fears get into the way of accomplishing what you wanna do. So believe in yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. And I will try my best to help all those that are interested in a career in dentistry um, have a strong application and at least get interviews. And if you have any questions and concerns, comments, anything like that, um, please message me. And I will try to um, have content on here for you guys to address most of your concerns. Thanks.